female psychiatrist who diagnosed Trump as unfit has dirty secret that's just been exposed. In a bid to have President Donald Trump removed from office, the left is pushing the diagnosis of a Yale psychiatrist who has ruled him unfit to be president. However, Dr. Bandy X Lee's own dirty little secret has just been exposed, and it's bad news for her career. In December 2017, more than a dozen lawmakers secretly met with leading Yale psychiatrist Dr. Bandy X Lee to discuss their concern for the president's mental health, which they suspect is unstable and rapidly declining. Of course, this was merely another one of their countless plots to get Donald Trump removed from the White House since their frivolous impeachment campaigns have miserably failed. Fortunately for the desperate liberal politicians, they found a comrade in Dr. Lee, who has not only repeatedly diagnosed Trump in television and newspaper interviews but also published a New York Times bestseller titled The Dangerous Case of Donald Trump, 27 Psychiatrists and Mental Health Experts Assess the President. However, Dr. Lee's 15 minutes of fame are quickly backfiring now that the truth about her diagnosis has come out. After openly diagnosing Trump in multiple interviews, Dr. Lee has been accused of violating the Goldwater Rule, in which the American Psychiatric Association APA, declared it unethical for a psychiatrist to offer a professional opinion on a public figure for whom they have neither given a face-to-face -face examination nor received legal consent to disclose said patient's medical information, according to the Los Angeles Times. In what is widely known as the Goldwater Rule, the APA declared it unethical for a psychiatrist to offer a professional opinion on a public figure unless he or she has conducted an examination and has been granted proper authorization for such a statement. The Goldwater Rule was established during the Cold War after 1,189 psychiatrists declared Republican Senator and presidential candidate Barry Goldwater psychologically unfit to be president in a successful bid to ruin his campaign. Goldwater won his lawsuit against Fact magazine for organizing and publishing the poll of psychiatrists. Just as Dr. Lee is leading a nearly identical movement against Trump and published a book claiming that hundreds of mental health experts agree with her, she could also very easily be sued for violating the same ethical rule. Disturbingly, Dr. Lee is citing her alleged duty to warn the people in a pathetic effort to dispel condemnation for her ethics violation. However, the Yale doctor is playing with fire, considering that the man she's unethically and unprofessionally diagnosing is not only the most powerful leader in the world but a savvy businessman with a lifetime of experience in the courtroom. However, the coup de grace to Dr. Lee's credibility was delivered when she told Newsweek in a disturbingly mentally deranged rant that she believes Trump is going to wipe out all of humanity. If it were possible, Dr. Bandy Lee said we would be declaring a public health emergency that needs to be responded to as quickly as possible. As more time passes, we come closer to the greatest risk of danger, one that could even mean the extinction of a human species, she said. This is not hyperbole. This is the reality. Expectedly, when asked to give examples that supported her unofficial diagnosis of Trump's mental health, Dr. Lee regurgitated unfounded liberal rhetoric and propaganda. What Lee would say is that a history of violence, like Trump's verbal aggressiveness, history of boasting about sexual assault, history of inciting violence at his rallies, and history of endorsing violence in his key public speeches, is the best predictor of future violence. He has also shown an attraction to violence and powerful weapons, she said, including nuclear weapons. He has also repeatedly taunted a hostile nation. Additionally, Dr. Jeffrey Lieberman, former president of the APA, not only denounced Dr. Lee's book as a compilation of tawdry, indulgent, fatuous tabloid psychiatry but obliterated her claim of having a duty to warn, adding that medical professionals have repeatedly been used throughout history for corrupt political agendas. In a letter to the editors of the New England Journal of Medicine, Lieberman says he believes Lee, Dr. Claire, Pouncey and the rest are acting in good faith and are convinced they are fulfilling a moral obligation. But the history of psychiatry is littered with examples of mental health professionals being exploited for political purposes, he wrote, citing doctors who gave cover to Nazi eugenics policies and those who helped confine dissidents to mental hospitals in the People's Republic of China. 
although moral and civic imperatives justify citizens speaking out against injustices of government and its leaders, that does not mean that psychiatrists can use their medical credentials to brand elected officials with neuropsychiatric diagnoses without sufficient evidence and appropriate circumstances, he wrote. To do so undermines the profession's integrity and credibility. Disturbingly, Dr. Lee's flagrant overreach doesn't end there. In April 2017, she exposed her own political bias during an interview with New York Magazine, charging that Trump supporters have been essentially brainwashed by the mentally unfit president. He is giving his fans a false sense of empowerment, make America great again, reject outsiders who will take your jobs. But instead of elevating their status with real solutions, he is exploiting their psychology. Dr. Lee is not only inching toward losing her credibility and career, she's also portraying herself as mentally unfit to be a psychiatrist, thanks to her maniacal ramblings suggesting that President Donald Trump will destroy the earth and everything in it. If there's one thing we can learn from Dr. Lee, it's that the patients are definitely running the asylum.